Hi y'all, it's Queen B. <laughs> and I just want to post it an opinion. I posted it in text, but I thought I'd do it in video to get my point across. Um, my opinion about how we should change the Super Bowl. Now see, I was born in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and that's why um, I talk like this. I was not born or raised in the South. I have spent time there. Um, but I have a really uh, pronounced uh, Gloucester accent, okay? <laughs> um, I'll be talking normal. All of a sudden, I'm going to the spa. Like, where the heck did that come from? <laughs> so, um, I have was born in Gloucester, Mass. Lived there six years, so the, the vocal accent printed on me and lived in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, California, back to New Jersey and Pennsylvania. So, and I've lived in Colorado for 12 years. So I say I have an American accent with Gloucester trying to force its way out. And um, it's it gets more pronounced. I don't know why, especially when I'm trying to talk fast or get excited. <laughs> so um, depending on the Super Bowl, Wear a jersey, my Mickey shirt, and want to talk about it. <laughs> um, I think, now, because I'm not a Patriots fan, even though I was born in Gloucester, Mass., okay? They are an excellent team. That's all I'm going to say, okay? So, I think, you know, we have to change the way we do the Super Bowl. I think we ought to do something called the Underdog Bowl. And this is how we do it. Um... We just have to say to the Patriots, uh, you're the best. Can't find anybody that beats you. Here's your rings. You are the champs. Here we go. Have at it, you know. And they can have their Super Bowl, but we can need another one, man. <laughs> um, it would be the underdog Super Bowl called the Underdog Bowl. Spelled U-N-D-E-R-D. A W G, of course. <laughs> we have two teams that were didn't make it into the Super Bowl. Okay, they are the underdogs officially, <laughs> and we have them battle it out in a venue that's cheaper than the normal Super Bowl situation. Uh, people can B Y O B and come as they are. You don't gotta dress fancy, nothing, and you can come in any old rickety vehicle you want. Um, if you have a new SUV. Or a pickup truck, you gotta throw some mud on there, or we'll have some mud there you can throw on <laughs> before you come in the parking lot. <laughs> Just gotta be redneck, and um, basically it's it's redneck gathering, and everybody has some redneck in them. Uh, translates age, race, and religion, and um, even politics. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> And you can bring your hunting dogs, because when the refs make a bad call, you can sick them on the refs, and we can watch for half an hour. This is a special thing that the worst call, and they run around trying to get those refs, and they can run up a tree, and then we call them off and bring our hunting dogs back. Then they know better <laughs> for the next call. And not so many of those dropped uh, hankies on the field. <laughs> so... Um, and I just think this would be a lot more fun than the normal Super Bowl situation. And only really cool bands can play at halftime. And um, my Instagram name is Queen B underscore W I O V because there's a lot of Queen Bees out there. Now, I just didn't pick Queen B just because it seemed to be popular. I've always thought of myself as a Queen B. My name, Deborah, means B in Hebrew. And there's only one female bee, guys. Hello, it's Queen Bee. <laughs> and my middle name, Ruth, means friend. So it's kind of a command to be friend or be friendly. And I've, that's always been me. And somehow my mama picked that name out for me even before I was born. So somehow she knew. <laughs> and, um, yes, I've been married twice and maybe thrice. But I do have a couple of names. I'm Deborah Ruth Force like in Air Force and May the Force Be With You. So me and my four brothers were like the epitome of cool in high school, okay? <laughs> uh, Star Wars. <laughs> yes, we've watched we watched them at all at least 100 times while they're in the movies because back then you could go into an early show, you could stay all the way through because 
the attendants thought maybe you just came in late, you know. So we got to watch him a bunch of times. <laughs> and um, the name Shy is like a uh, a writer a writer's name or stage name. When I was with my band Rough Innocence, I had a dream, <laughs> and we were at some place, some venue. And we were being introduced to Aerosmith, and each one was shaking hands, you know, and say, hi, my name is. And I was coming up to Stephen, Mr. Stephen Tyler, who was born in Boston and has the same problem with his accent, okay? <laughs> he sounds like he's from Louisiana. <laughs> um, so um, I introduced myself to Stephen Tyler, and I called myself Deborah Shy. Where that came from, I don't know. It's a dream name, so I took it. <laughs> and then Gerlock is my first marriage and divorced and then Culver was my second marriage where I've been out um, in Colorado for 12 years been back to Pennsylvania from 2016 October 2016 so basically three years back and um, so he died from esophageal cancer and he was the sweetest man and um, next who knows? <laughs> I'm not telling. <laughs> so y'all have a good day. Peace and love to all. Bye.